Mangroves are a type of tree species oftentimes seen in the coast of tropical areas. These trees make up forests that foster a large amount of biodiversity, making them essential to the communities around them. In addition, these mangrove forests help not only fight the causes of climate change by exceeding its storing carbon dioxide in the roots, but also reduce the effects of climate change, being able to mitigate the damage from tropical storms. Despite these apparent benefits of mangroves, these forests are constantly under threat from the encroachment of human activities. So the engineers for exploration mangrove monitoring team, with the Alberto Lab at the Scripps Institute of Oceanography, is working to help survey and learn more about these ecosystems. On the other hand, surveying these forests by hand is very intensive, and as you can see, very muddy. Traditionally, mangrove ecosystems were monitored using satellites. However, in our main area of interest in Baja California Sur, we have tried different techniques near cities like La Paz to monitor mangrove forests. We have deployed drones to take over 10 terabytes worth of mangrove images, which are much higher resolution than that of standard satellite images to create very detailed mangrove maps. This high resolution imagery has allowed us to take advantage of deep learning and convolutional neural networks to achieve accurate mangrove classifications. However, such a network takes in and classifies tiles or square sections of imagery rather than individual pixels, which greatly limits the precision of our classifications. The obvious first direction was to move away from classifying sections of images to classifying the individual pixels of the image. Thus, Arden Ma and myself, Sam Cole, used a UNet which originally was designed for biomedical applications and applied it to classifying mangrove land areas. I approved on this and implemented a CRF, or a conditional random probability field, to improve these pixel classifications even more accurately. In addition, we also aim to augment our original CNN algorithm to use other forms of data to make our models more generalizable to different regions. I, Dylan Hicks, developed a novel hybrid CNN architecture which fuses drone imagery with planetscope satellite pixels. With this hybrid CNN, generated features from satellites, such as vegetation indices, can be incorporated along with original pixel values to help detect non-vegetation areas. This results in a more precise and accurate mangrove classifications when compared to other methods. This summer, we also hope to improve the efficiency of labeling mangroves. As you can see, mangrove labeling is a very labor-intensive task, taking hours to complete a single area of interest. So, David Foreman developed an image labeling tool, ML Paint, to greatly increase the speed of mangrove labeling. This program uses suggestions given by a machine learning classifier, allowing the user to more intelligently label sections of images. If you want to find out more about ML Paint and its capabilities, visit the link in the video for more information. Lastly, we know that deep learning models are not the easiest tools for biologists to use, so we developed projects to make our work more accessible. We developed a web-based mangrove image classification tool that leverages cloud computing to deploy our machine learning models. This tool allows scientists to upload drone imagery and allows them to download and visualize these classified maps. This enables anyone across the world to use our algorithms to generate mangrove statistics, no matter the technical experience or computer hardware. Thanks for watching, and of course, thank you to our collaborators. This would all be impossible without them. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us in our emails in the video.